I'm an addict named Chris. The disease of addiction manifested in my home when I was very young. When I was 11, my dad lit up a joint, passed it to my brother, and he then passed it to me. Not long after that, I was drinking on the weekends and smoking weed daily. One morning, there was no lunch money on the table. My family was drowning financially. I decided to become a drug dealer at the age of 12. What was once the party house became filled with pain and misery. I coasted for a while. I got involved in powerlifting and track, but quit school my senior year, and I began the downward spiral. As my addiction progressed, I was introduced to heroin. From then on, I was in and out of jail, couldn't hold a job, and had no place to call home. At first, using was fun. Made me feel confident, outgoing, comfortable in my own skin. In the end, I became who I always hated growing up. A liar and a thief. I stole from people I didn't know, which landed me in prison for six years. Six years. While I was incarcerated, I got my GED and joined a recovery program. But two days after my release, my brother died from a heroin overdose. I used drugs to numb the pain because it was the only way I knew how to deal with it. After being arrested for my second OVI, I was incarcerated again. In miserable withdrawal, I remember praying to God to deliver me from the desire to use. I felt hopeless, helpless, worthless, and was desperate for change. I got released after four months and hit the ground running. But then I met this girl. We relapsed together eventually. She went to jail and I rejoined the drug court program. I was five months clean when I found out she was pregnant. She relapsed again after her release and struggled through the remainder of her pregnancy. Our daughter was born 16 weeks premature at one pound and three ounces. She was a gift from God. I graduated from drug court with 100% compliance and after three months in the incubator, Rayleigh, my ray of light, was released into the world. Sadly, Rayleigh's mother's addiction continued to progress and months later, she overdosed on heroin. When they found her, it was too late. I recognized that complete surrender was absolutely necessary. I knew if I finally surrendered to God, I wouldn't be defeated. I would be claiming victory. I was baptized at Gingisburg Church on October 29, 2016. I had been underwater my whole life, drowning. I emerged from that baptism pool and breath filled my lungs. My daughter will never know the person I used to be. By the grace of God and Narcotics Anonymous, I celebrated two years clean, November 18, 2016. I got out of God's way and knowing Jesus has given me serenity and freedom. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior.